We are dealing with a serious issue with Nebula, my clouded leopard. I have some shocking news, both good news and bad news. You can see Nebula's eyes where there are all this ice blue. She looks blind. We're just gonna put a little bit more right there. Go one, two, one drop in each eyeball. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day And for those that are new here, well, I'm Jacob and welcome to my jungle If you guys saw the title and thumbnail, well, you will know we are dealing with a serious issue with Nebula My clouded leopard as you guys know Nebula has a rare eye condition and we just went to the eye doctor again for a checkup And well guys, I have some shocking news both good news and bad news. I'm always transparent with you guys so you guys know what is up with the animals with their health all of those things guys you're gonna want to stick along for this one um, there's some really sad news about nebula but I am NOT going to reveal that news just yet guys let me know what do you want first good news bad news let me know but before we can hop into today's video with nebula she's actually in here bouncing around well guys I have a brand new enrichment toy for Cheech and Chong that we've got to hang up so let's go hang it up Okay, so we're heading on into the serval enclosure from the double door. So this is our double door entry for the serval boys. You've been watching Cheech and Chong grow into the big, strong serval boys that they are. So that right there is Chong Man, and then where's Cheeto? So Cheech and Chong are in here. This is their beautiful enclosure. Now we've got their toy, and it looks like Cheech. You like your new toy? So we got Cheech and Chong here. Now they're just going to get used to their new toy, which we're hanging up there, but. You guys have seen this, but this is actually new. So actually, in the past week or so, I actually added this incredible platform right up top here. So now they've got another elevated deck. So this one sits two feet off the ground, and then the highest point is about five feet off the ground. So when they go to jump, they're not jumping from five feet down. They've actually got a step up. And the reason why I did this is because you guys know that Cheech and Chong were so weak when I first got them. Being able to nurse these boys back to health and see them strong and healthy, well, that's what it's all about for me, helping these animals out, the ones that are in need. So I'm so happy that I'm able to give them this incredible life. And because of all of you guys, I'm able to build these incredible habitats for these animals. So let's actually hang up their new toy. So this is their new toy right here. Again, we got a nice jolly ball. So I've drilled this in place. All I've got to do is just hook that right on there. We're nice and secure. And now the Serval Boys have an awesome swinging ball to play with. So this ball, they can bat around. It's going to go back and forth. And look, Cheech is interested, guys. Comment down below. Is Cheech going to like his new ball? Cheech, get the ball. Cheech, you want the ball? I hung it for you to play with. But Cheech, you, no, you, you don't like it? Really? Well, that's not the reaction I was going for. Uh, boys, I, I hung up a ball for you. It's really cool. It's colorful. It's fun. You guys sure you don't want it? Look at you, boy. You're using my scratching post. Look. So it's really cool to see Chong actually utilizing the scratching post that I put in. So you can see he's using those long nails of his to dig right up in here. So Cheech and Chong are not playing with their ball toy. They're just not all that interested in it right now. But guys, I'm sure they're going to love it. So now the moment you guys have been waiting for, you guys have been wondering what is the good news and the bad news with Nebula. Well, I can't reveal that just yet for you guys. So we've actually got to make her food. Then I'm going to take her out. And then you guys are going to get the news. So we're outside at our meal prepping station. So this is actually where most of the chicken chopping gets done. We got a nice big stainless steel sink area So we are getting nebula's food ready and we have got nebula's favorite food today, which is ground beef So we've got our red meat right here and we are going to be giving nebula pretty much the whole pack So we're just gonna start by opening this on up here now This is one pound seven ounces now nebula gets about a pound of food so we're gonna give Nebula pretty much all of this red meat right here now this right here is about perfect amount for our little clouded leopard girl So before we put our vitamins on we have two very special guests here We have Zeus jr. And Xena and guys they smelt the red meat so they definitely want some of this right here So Zeus look Zeus really wants some right here right here come here get that big slobbery face over here That's so yummy and mrs. Xena girl right here. Oh, that is so yummy the red meat treat is so good, so nice. Guys, I couldn't say no to these big goobers right here, so let's get back to our meat. So basically, we have our red meat right here. Now, since Zeus licked my glove, we're actually gonna take our glove off because we don't wanna cross contaminate. So we got our big cat vitamin. We're gonna do one whole scoop of that vitamin right here. We're just gonna scoop it 
And I'm going to get a nice scoop of calcium. Since this meat doesn't have bones, we got to add the calcium because in the wild, they're going to be eating the whole prey, the organs, the meat, the bones, the bone marrow. All of that stuff is what they'd be eating. And we also have our fast track probiotic to ensure that Nebula has a healthy gut flora because Nebula has a sensitive stomach. So sometimes her stomach bothers her. So we give her a probiotic so she has a nice healthy gut. So guys, we've got our meat seasoned now. We're just going to mix it on up. So the vitamins are mixed all throughout this red meat right here. So now the moment you have been waiting for. I am just about to give you guys the good news and the bad news on Nebula. So guys, let's go get her out. Okay, so we are coming out of Miss Nebby's enclosure. So this is what we call backpack. This is how me and Nebby kind of get around when she comes out for her enrichment. So I've got Mrs. Nebby's here. So let's actually take her over to her food and I'm finally going to reveal the good news and the bad news. Now, obviously you guys know, you can see Nebula's eyes where there are all this ice blue. She looks blind. And again, I'm gonna tell you that good news and bad news right now as we're feeding her. But I just wanted to bring Nebula right over here to actually eat. You want some of this? So now, the moment all of you guys have been waiting for, the good news and the bad news is. So guys, let me know, what do you want first? The good news or the bad news? So I'm actually gonna start with the bad news, guys. The bad news is, come here, Miss Nebs. The bad news is, Nebula's eyes are gonna stay like this for the rest of her life. We just got back from another eye appointment and we think that this is just a genetic condition that is not going to go away, but the good news is, this is not life-threatening, so Nebula should live a happy, healthy life given that we keep her eye pressure low, because that's the last thing we want is a high eye pressure. Come here, Miss Nebs. The high eye pressure will cause ulcers. So by keeping her nice and healthy, only feeding her the freshest of foods, guys, we can ensure that Nebula is going to live a happy and healthy life. There, so Nebula is just chowing down on this red meat right here. Just absolutely good stuff. Isn't that right, Mama? Yeah, I know, you're a good girl, you're sweet. So again, these guys are a endangered species from Asia and they live in the Himalayas now. Not much is known about the clouded leopards because they spend most of their time way up high in the treetops. So we've got her medications. We have sodium chloride ointment and we have dorsalme drops. Now the combination of this is going to keep her eyes uninflamed and hopefully keep the pressure low. So we're gonna start with the ointment. Now Nebula, as you can see, she's got those ice blue eyes. We're gonna put about a rice grain size drop right here. Now that's as directed by my eye doctor. And we're just gonna put a little bit more right there and we're just gonna kind of let it just rub on in. And as you can see, Nebula has grown used to this. This is now part of our daily routine. Twice a day, she gets cuddles and she also gets her eye cream. So we're gonna let that ointment sit there. You guys can see, Nebula is just the sweetest cat right here. And let's take a look at these big canines. The closest living relative to the saber-toothed tiger and their teeth do not disappoint. Giant, about inch and a half, two inch fangs. Just incredible cats right here. So Nebula, you're just the best girl ever. So again, all that blue that you're seeing in her eyes right here is actually all this excess fluid. And you can kind of see her eye just on the top of it. Her cornea is a little bit clear on the top, so you can still kind of see her eye, but it is still hard to see. So now it is time for our Dorsalmede eye drops. So Nebula, let's put these drops in right here. Let's go one, two, one drop in each eyeball. And we're just gonna put one right here in the corner. And as simple as that, we are done right here. Mrs. Nebs, you did so good. Now, even though Nebula has all of these eye issues, well, guys, I wouldn't trade her for the world. She's just the sweetest cat, just the best. She loves her snuggles. And even though we have to give her this daily treatment, that has made the bond between the both of us that much stronger. Nebula, I love you, girl. Guys, that's gonna end today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video, treating Nebula eyes, and you guys finally getting the full breakdown on what's going on with her. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below a prayer for Nebula's eyes. And Guys, if you're not subscribed yet to me, you want to see more of Nebula, you want to see tigers, lions, turtles, and tortoises, and all kinds of crazy animals, well, all you guys have to do is go right now, hit the subscribe button, tap that little notification bell, and you all be notified whenever I post 